started in the late 1950s by an artist by the name of William Westenhaver. He started noticing the trend of tiki bars really starting to take off and thought maybe this is the way that I can make a living too and started creating art to go in that world. His style was really this super modern primitive type deal, almost trying to boil down tiki and, and those kind of forms to, to just the most simple shapes and lines to see almost how little he could do to actually create a tiki. I mean, you can see this thing, there's barely any detail in it. And yet, funny when you see them in person, they're just striking. Pitco had fans in rock and roll too. There's uh, the legendary Roar Orberson standing next to a couple of his Whitco masks. The king himself, Mr. Elvis Presley, has his whole jungle room designed in Whitco furniture. You can still see it at Graceland today. Pretty cool, pretty weird stuff in like the best possible way. Love that Elvis loved Tiki. I wish you could still order from this catalog. All of the images are from Sven Kirsten's book, Tiki Modern. I highly, highly recommend it. There, there are several books that you just absolutely need if you're a fan of Tiki. The, the first one's The Book of Tiki. The, uh, the second one is absolutely Tiki Modern. He has another book called Tiki Pop that is incredible as well. And actually, there's another book that just came out and it's Martin Kate's book called Smuggler's Cove. Just an incredible book. It'll give you everything you need to know about tiki bars and cocktails and all kinds of cool stuff. So I got word that there's a Whitco Tiki Bar in Palmdale, California for sale. And the price was just incredible. And it happens to be that one. I think one of the most incredible examples of his style. African Bar Group, which is funny because it doesn't necessarily look African to me, but uh, I'll go with it. In, in California, Whitco is shockingly rare. Um, when you go up north, it's a little bit more accessible. And I think Florida, I think they find a lot of it. Maybe back east, I'm not sure. But California, you just don't come across this stuff, really. That's why I'm so excited about it. I've become really used to driving a modern car in the last... Uh, like eight, nine months. Um, so much so that, that driving the truck now, um, it could be concerning at times. It doesn't break that well. Uh, I've been broken down more times than I can count. I've been underneath the, the truck more times than I can count. But today, in the name of Tiki, get this ultra rare uh, Whitco Tiki bar. Um, I'm gonna drive in probably what will be 90 degree weather in an unair conditioned 1961 Econoline truck all the way to Palmdale, California, which I believe is above and inland of Glendale. And I'm in Costa Mesa right now. There it is. Coming from Caliente, I broke down. Um, it was, oh man, it must have been 100 something degrees outside. I broke down on the side of the desert. Uh, because this truck seems to not like to hang on to um, coolant. So let's see. There we go. It's like there's some in there. Enough to uh, get us to where we're going. Maybe I'll pick up some on the way just to be sure. Yeah. 
14 going east. Something, anyway. Medical dummy, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's pretty weird. Yeah, he's got his parts on the inside. Uh -huh. I think it's missing a part. Yeah, well, who's gonna miss a pancreas? Well, here we are. Ready? There it is. Witco Tiki Bar. Uh, I'll talk to you in a minute. You might wanna uh, evict some of the bugs. Yeah. There's no roaches. That's for a fact. I don't have that. Well, that's good. Spiders. Like, I, there goes a spider right there. I really didn't think this stuff was going to fit in here. We got it. It's going to be, it's going to be some kind of drive home. Have fun with that, <laughs> Matt. Cool. Well, I just picked up the, uh, the fridge and the tiki bar. And, uh, just when you thought driving this truck couldn't get any more dangerous. I don't have any side mirrors either for the truck, so I uh, guess we'll see what happens. But I, I can't even believe the stuff that I found today. So stoked. Holy shit. So much for uh, aerodynamics, huh? Not that the 1961 Ford Econoline was much of a sports car, but I think I just put up a wind sail. Oh, man. The things you do for Tiki, right? Or for old stuff. Well, it's not the first time I've been stuck on the side of the road before. But actually, I'm not stuck at all. Although I'm trying also not to get killed. Uh, the tonneau cover, the back of my, my truck, the cover of the bed, was getting a little weird. So, wow, this is really scary. So, check that out. Well, I'm going through Long Beach now. You can see that the uh, tonneau cover I had to pull over and tear a piece of it off because it was starting to catch wind and make things kind of dangerous. So, uh, man, this trip's, uh, it's, it's been a, it's been something. But I like to think that it's all worth it. I mean, it, that tiki bar is, is gotta be one of the more rare things in tiki collecting. And, uh, and it was well worth the, the trip and the cost. And, and uh, you know, I'm just happy, happy to have it. And, um, especially at the price that I got it for. So, yeah, hopefully we'll just make it back to Costa Mesa with no more issues, you know what I mean? <laughs> After a long, I don't know, four, five hour drive today in a, a 60 year old truck, um, we're back uh, in the breezeway. Uh, one thing's different though. All of a sudden, this thing showed up. I love how the green stands out on it. I love how the fabric is kind of worn. I wouldn't want this thing to be perfect. It's it it shows that it's vintage by somewhere, you know. All in all, I'm really excited about this bar, and I'm glad you guys were able to cruise along with us. So yeah, I guess the story that goes with this tiki bar is that. Um, the lady who sold it to me, I guess it was her ex-husband's or something, and uh, he lived in Silver Lake and had a tiki room, and, and um, this was in there, as well as the refrigerator that I got. 
So yeah, I already have a, a bar that um, my buddy Josh and I built in the breezeway. And um, and I tell you, I love this bar so much. So the Whitco is not gonna be replacing this bar, but believe me, I'll find a spot for the Whitco in the breezeway. I like the story.